What's up, loves? You are welcome, and I'm highly pleased to have you learn with me today. As we all know, we are in the days of corset, and you can't do away with eyelets and grooming. And have you ever wondered how designers are able to create those beautiful holes for the lace up of their corset? Worry no more, you'll be learning how to do it all by yourself. We are going to be unboxing an eyelet or grommet plier and I'm going to be telling you how much it costs. We will also be learning the differences between an eyelet, a grommet, a rivet, a pressure and a plier. I will be showing you how to use an eyelet plier and recommend the best one to go for in case you are looking forward to buying one. A lot of people get confused about what these things are. Today, I'm going to take my time, explain and elaborate to you the in and out of eyelet plier, grommets and rivets. So, stick and stay and keep watching to the end of this video. Before we start the unboxing, let's quickly look at the differences of these terminologies so that we wouldn't get confused when we start this main video. So, let's quickly look at the differences between an eyelet and a grommet. Eyelets are metal or plastic rings that are attached to fabrics, leathers, and other materials to reinforce the holes in that material in order to prevent it from tearing or being torn or damaged. Now, we have types of eyelets. The first one is the standard type. We also have the grommet, the flat type, and the oval type. So, in this case, we are seeing a grommet to be a type of an eyelet. In this video, we are going to be talking much about the standard eyelet and the grommet eyelet. These are the widely used eyelets. So, in this video, if you hear me say an eyelet, I mean the standard eyelet. To install an eyelet, you will need a special tool. And if the tool do not match, it will not be possible to install them neatly. The tools we will need in order to be able to install an eyelet is what we call the eyelet plier or the presser. However, these two products, which is the eyelet and the grommet, are often confused because of their similar appearances and use. The confusion is so widespread that even most retailers use the two names interchangeably. The main differences between a grommet and an eyelet is that a grommet uses two pieces of metal pressed together to strengthen the holes they protect, and they tend to be larger and more durable. Whilst eyelets are a one-piece metal, and they also tend to be small and light weighted. And rivets are flat metal pieces or plastic pieces that are used to join two different materials together. They also look like eyelets, but then they don't have hole. They are flat. This is an eyelet plier with a die and punches I bought for $7, which is 2000 955 Naira for my Nigerian friends and 80 Ghana CDs for my Ghanaian friends. And we are going to be unboxing this. The first thing I'm going to be doing is to open it up from the casing. I can see some two pieces of metals and I can also see that it came with some of the eyelets which is gold in color. They normally do this so that you could know the size of eyelet you should go for because we have various types and various sizes of the eyelet. So when it comes with the eyelet, you're able to look at the original eyelet and you'll be able to determine which size you should go for which will work best for you. As I said earlier, if you don't get the right plier for the right eyelet, it won't come out neatly. Yes, I, I, I also have, um, I think I'm loving it. The material is made of cast iron, made of cast. 
I mean very strong metal and I'm, I'm liking it because it's so hard and firm I mean the material is quality and I'm sure this is going to be durable and it's coming with the punches so what we do with the punches is that is what you use to create the holes on the fabric before you insert the eyelet. Mostly this works best for those using leather. But if you are going to be using a fabric, you can go ahead and use your scissors to cut that out. It came with for about six punches with different sizes and then the punches pad. So I realized that one of the two metals was to be used to unscrew those punches so i'm just trying to unscrew it so that you see how it's going to be i've already unscrewed one i'm trying to unscrew the other some of the eyelet pliers comes with a different punches which is the one i'm showing you but this one came with everything in one i mean everything in one yes they've not separated it and this is called an eyelet plier because the dies in it are eyelet dies, meaning I can only use this to fix eyelets and not groom it because of the size. So if I want to turn this to become a grommet plier, I have to remove the die of the eyelet and insert the die of the grommet. Don't worry, as we proceed, I'm going to be showing you what the die is. And I'm just trying to test it. So this is an example of a grommet plier. Grommet plier, the dies are bigger than eyelet plier. The difference is the die. Hey, I'm going to be coming your way with a new video on how to install an eyelet or grommet without any of the tools i mean without any of the machines you could do this manually so stay tuned and keep following me the next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be liking this video um that is if you do and secondly if you've not subscribed please this is the time let's do it now be part of this wonderful family where we grow together in the world of fashion and I also realized that the last metal that was in it was also used to unscrew the die. When I say the die, we are looking at the two pieces of metals that you fix the eyelet or the grommet piece on it and you exert press pressure on it to create that hole. So the die, when we talk of the die, we are looking at those two pieces. You can change it. It's actually removable and refixable. So you can change it when we have sizes. When you buy this for the first time, it is locked up by that flat rectangular black metal piece. So what you have to do is push it towards the handle. So this will make the plier to be able to open its mouth wider. But when you are done using, you can lock it back. So that is the locker of the plier if you don't know this you will buy it and you wouldn't know how to use it so make sure you keep this in mind when you are going to buy yours if you have any question about fashion please don't hesitate to contact me it's free absolutely free the other thing i realized with this plier was that you can unscrew the die out and after unscrewing the die then you fix the, the punches and use as well in case you just want to change it to any of those uh, main pieces you you could you could do so so the die is the most important thing here I'm removing the die that's the two die the two pieces die so that I could fix the punch and see how we could test that out too these are what we call the dies. They are two pieces and it comes in different sizes. We have the 12, 24, 22, I mean different sizes. I think this was the 
um, the least size. And when you look at it, it has the flat part where you face the highlights on it. Then the part, the pointed part, which you also face the pointed part of the eyelet. Then with the help of the plier, you press and then it will just click. click. This is how the whole thing works. And when you take it, looking at the shape of it and even the shape of the eyelet, you will be able to tell which one should face which one. Yeah, it's very simple as ABC. And you have the opportunity to change the sizes of the die. That is if you have them. When you buy, it comes with just one of the sizes. And for that matter, you could go to the market and get the different sizes. Now that I'm done removing the dies, I want to insert the punch. Mostly these punches work best for leather. Yes. But I'm just trying it on the fabric to see if it will work. And before the punch can be able to function, there is a punch part. That golden metallic flat piece there, that's what we call the punch pad. You also, you also have to unscrew it from that side and bring it to the other side where you, you are going to be exerting the pressure. So when you bring it there, then you put your fabric on that in between those two metals. Then you exert the pressure. That's when the hole can now be created. Likely the punch was able to create the hole. There are some fabric that it won't even work at all because of how light and soft the fabric is. So the heavier your fabric, the more likely it is to be able to punch. And when you are trying to make your hole, just be careful so that the hole will not be too big. The smaller the hole, the better for you. And after I was done creating the hole, I removed the punches, then I'm inserting the dies back. We'll need the die before we can work this whole thing out. And now we are going to be testing it out. So I've already created my hole. I'm placing in the eyelet. I'm putting it in between the die, making sure that the right die faces the right side of the eyelet. Once I was done, I just exert a gentle press on it, and that was it, guys. It's, it's out and it's beautiful. If you're going to be using this for a corset lace, please, I would advise to go for the grommet because eyelets are, are not that strong. So, I advise you go for the grommet because they are a bit larger. You hope your thread can pass through them, and they are also durable and stronger, guys. I already have this eyelets and roommates and some other pieces with me so i'm going to be showing you live example of what a grommet and an eyelet is i think i have some as i said we have different colors we have the golden color silver color we even have the black color so i'm trying to just figure out my grommet from my eyelet so that i could explain better to you uh, guys i'll be coming your way with interesting videos on how to use some of these metals you are seeing and this will add spices to your garments that you make for your clients and these are some of the petty petty things that keeps your clients with you no other fashion designer can go and just take your clients away from you like that i mean you have to leverage and follow the trend of the day in fashion if you don't follow you fade out and your clients you lose them upgrade your fashion knowledge leverage so guys these are the grommets i have the silver both the silver and the gold color grommets have two pieces i mean let me call it the bow and the lid they are two pieces but eyelet is just one this is the eyelet i'm holding very small so looking at the size grommets are larger than i mean grommets are bigger than eyelet and eyelet is just a one now i'm trying to fix another one without the punch i'm using my scissors to do this one and with grommets it also has um, a very special tool for it grommets mostly because they are a bit um stronger and durable it is best to have what we call the grommet press a one-time plier for grommets 
or better so you can go for um the press i'm talking about that one is quite expensive it's quite expensive it makes the finishing looks more beautiful and and then more more durable so in other for you to be able to choose plier or press for your garment first of all you consider your budget also look for the quality of the material used in making that particular plier is good to go for the one which is metal i i will recommend this because the price was a bit okay and it came with both the punches and everything that i needed it came with it and this is what a uh, many in one it's not just two in one or three in one this is many in one yes we have others that come like three plies i think it's too much thank you for watching to the end of this video